coronavirus outbreak is rallying not just Americans, but the world in a global fight against a very invisible enemy. And as Leon Bibb shares with us tonight, our struggle today shares parallels with a global conflict about 80 years ago. I have an interest in World War II. This is one of my favorite books about that war in the 1940s. Now we're in another war against the COVID-19 virus. We'll win that war too, but it's gonna take us toughing it out some more. But you know, there's some similarities between the two wars. Our backs were against the wall when World War II exploded into our lives in 1941, and much of the world had to pull together against a fierce enemy. With coronavirus, the world is hammered again from another enemy. Death, sickness, heartbreak, and fear are around us. In World War II, Americans mobilized. The workforce transitioned into a military production effort. In this new fight, we have to mobilize for new armament and new ideas. Those working the front lines risk their own lives to save others. But their stockpiles of equipment are woefully inadequate in number. Decades ago in World War II, against a tough enemy, we could not predict when victory would come. We only knew we were in the fight for the duration. I want you, declared the Uncle Sam poster, asking Americans to leave home and join in the military fight to save all of us from the enemy. Now we are asked to stay home because the battleground of stopping enemy coronavirus is here and everywhere. Two wars, seven decades apart, each with the same mission of stop the enemy and save ourselves. World War II, we won. In this war, with the help of everyone, we have to do it again. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb. And as usual, Leon nails it.